She is known for her theories on the influences of art on the mind. She is recognized for being one of the earliest American women to achieve an academic career in philosophy. Her name is Suzanne Katrina Langer. Suzanne Katrina Langer, a pioneering American philosopher, writer, and educator, made significant contributions to the field of philosophy with her groundbreaking theories on the relationship between art and the human mind. Born in 1895, Langer embarked on a remarkable academic career at a time when few women were recognized in the field of philosophy. Her perseverance and intellect led her to become the first woman to be professionally acknowledged as an American philosopher. Langer's most notable work, Philosophy in a New Key, published in 1942, revolutionized the way people perceive and understand art. In this book, she explored the profound impact that art has on the human experience, asserting that it has the power to shape our thoughts, emotions, and overall perception of the world. Her insights challenge traditional notions of philosophy by emphasizing the importance of aesthetic experiences in human life. Following the success of Philosophy in a New Key, Langer further expanded her theories in her 1953 publication, Feeling and Form, A Theory of Art. This sequel delved deeper into the relationship between emotion and artistic expression, exploring how form and structure in art can evoke and communicate complex feelings. Suzanne Langer's groundbreaking ideas sparked a paradigm shift in the field of philosophy, bringing attention to the transformative power of art on the human mind. Her influential works continue to inspire scholars, artists, and thinkers to this day, solidifying her legacy as a trailblazer and a respected figure in American philosophy. Suzanne Langer, a renowned philosopher, believed that art is a reflection of human emotions and expressions. She dedicated her life to studying the mind and its connection to artistic endeavors. Langer's theory revolved around the idea that feelings are not just abstract notions but have deep biological roots, connected to our evolutionary genetics. In her essay titled, Mind, Langer delved into the early evolution of humankind and its impact on our perception of the mind today. She proposed that through natural selection, early organisms underwent refinement, shaping certain behaviors and functions crucial for survival. Langer explained that the body's organs operate with specific rhythms and must cooperate harmoniously to ensure the organism's survival. According to Langer, these rhythmic interactions laid the foundation for the development of the central nervous system, which she regarded as the core of cognitive interactions among humans. She believed that this intricate system of rhythms and cooperation within the body was the basis for our ability to experience and understand emotions. Langer's philosophy on the history of feeling teaches us that our emotions are not mere psychological phenomena but have deep biological significance. Understanding this can help us navigate our daily lives with a heightened awareness of our emotions and their connection to our overall well-being. By recognizing the biological roots of our feelings, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and others, leading to more meaningful connections and a greater appreciation for the importance of art as a reflection of human experience. Langer's famous quote, My life will recur in exactly identical fashion, underscores her belief in the cyclical nature of life and the interconnectedness of our experiences. It reminds us that our emotions and experiences are not isolated events but part of a larger tapestry that repeats and evolves over time. This understanding can provide solace during challenging times and inspire us to embrace the beauty and complexity of our existence. Suzanne Langer, a renowned philosopher, revolutionized our understanding of symbolism and meaning. Her work in this field has had a profound impact on contemporary rhetoric, although her influence is still a topic of debate. Langer proposed that symbols are the epistemic unit of community, suggesting that all knowledge within a community is constructed through shared symbol systems specific to that culture. Langer's perspective on language and dialogue challenges the traditional notion that language simply communicates information. She believed that language actually generates symbols, which individuals then use to construct their own reality. Langer famously stated that language is intrinsic to thinking, imagining, even our ways of perceiving. In other words, language shapes our thoughts, our ability to imagine, and even how we perceive the world around us. According to Arabella Lyon, a professor at the State University of New York, Langer believed that meaning arises from the dynamic relationship between a community, its discourse, and the individual. This perspective diverges from Aristotle's more traditional theories, as Langer argued that discourse is formed through shared sensory experiences between the speaker and the listener, rather than through logical reasoning alone. Langer's examination of symbolism and language also delved into the motivations of the speaker, the influential power of language on individuals, and the relationship between the speaker and the community. These ideas put forth by Langer have greatly influenced modern rhetorical studies. Her epistemic view of symbolism and language has paved the way for a deeper understanding of how language shapes our perceptions, influences our thoughts, and contributes to the formation of our individual and collective realities.
By recognizing the role of symbols and the power of language, we can become more aware of how our words and communication impact ourselves and those around us in our daily lives. Born Suzanne Katrina Nauf, Suzanne Langer grew up in the vibrant city of New York. Her parents, Antonio Nauf and Else Ulich, were German immigrants, which meant that German was the primary language spoken in their household. This early exposure to language and culture would greatly influence Langer's philosophical journey. Growing up, Langer was surrounded by creativity and art. Music played a significant role in her life, and she learned to play the cello and piano. Her love for music continued throughout her life, as she dedicated herself to playing the cello. Langer's passion for literature also blossomed during her childhood. She would often recite the works of great poets and regale her younger siblings with her own poems and stories. Nature held a special place in Langer's heart, thanks to the summers her family spent at their cottage on Lake George. These experiences instilled in her a deep appreciation for the natural world and its beauty. In 1921, Langer married William Leonard Langer, a fellow student at Harvard. The couple embarked on a journey to Vienna, Austria, where they pursued their studies. They eventually returned to Cambridge, Massachusetts, where they had two sons. Unfortunately, their marriage ended in divorce in 1942. Throughout her life, Langer made significant contributions to philosophy, particularly in the field of aesthetics. She believed that art and symbols played a crucial role in understanding and expressing human experience. Langer's ideas emphasized the importance of symbols and how they shape our perception of the world around us. Suzanne Langer's philosophy can help us navigate our daily lives by encouraging us to pay attention to the symbols and meanings that surround us. By recognizing the power of art, language, and symbols, we can gain a deeper understanding of our own experiences and the world we live in. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.